How you doing? My name is Greg Susser from Kaba in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Today we're going to be making uh, my wife's famous churro recipe. Uh, we serve here at the restaurant. It's been on our menu since we opened up in uh, November of 2008. And we're going to start out with uh, a couple of whole spices here. We have some cinnamon and we have some star anise. Both are going to go into a uh, sauce pot and they're going to toast uh, for a few minutes over a medium high heat and uh, just until they start to get nice and toasty arom aromatics come out um, in them. At this point, spices are toasted nicely. We're going to add in a little bit of water. And we're going to add in our butter and our vanilla pods. We'll let everything come up to a light simmer and we're going to begin to add in our other ingredients at that point. We have our, our, our pot uh, up to a simmer with our butter and spices and vanilla in. Uh, we're going to combine our flours. Uh, we have a cake flour, we have an all-purpose flour. And we're going to combine our uh, kosher salt, sugar, and baking powder. And we're just going to give it a little stir just to combine everything. Uh, so when it goes into the pot, everything cooks nice and evenly. All right, so uh, next important step uh, is, and I often forget this one, um, is to strain off all of our whole spices in our vanilla pod. Um, not too fantastic to eat whole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over into uh, another pot of equal size, and we're just gonna strain through a small mesh strainer. You can remove this. Let this liquid come back up to a simmer. And we're gonna to begin to add in our flour, sugar, salt, baking powder mixture. What we're doing essentially is making a pate dough uh, here, and it's slightly sweetened with the sugar, um, and then spiced with the, uh, the aromatics. Um, so as we've come back up to a simmer, we're gonna grab a wooden spoon, slowly combine everything. Drop our heat down to a medium, medium low heat. Begin to stir everything together. It's going to form this wonderful dough. You can see how it begins to ball up a little bit here. We just want to kind of cook this dough for about 35, 40 seconds over this heat. So you get a nice kind of soft, not too sticky dough on the outside here. Our next step is uh, taking the churro dough here, uh, it's still very hot, um, and putting it into our KitchenAid mixer, paddle attachment, and we're going to bring this down. We're going to turn it on to a, a low, low setting, uh, one or two, and we're just going to give it a, a spin here for a few seconds, release some of that steam. We don't want to cook the eggs, so we have to be a little careful here to at least cool down the dough somewhat. Uh, but I have six eggs, and we're going to begin to uh, crack each one individually into um, the dough. We're going to let each egg absorb into the dough. Now you have kind of a, a slimy, kind of broken looking dough in, in the bowl, and that's okay. Um, as we go in with the sixth egg, it's going to be looking quite gooey for a little bit here. And we're going to bring the speed on the mixer up just a little bit to really incorporate this last little bit. And we just want to bring it just to a point where the dough kind of starts to form. We don't want to overmix too much. See, you can hear the blender starting to work. And pretty much there. So basically what we have is this beautiful sticky now dough that is going to come out of the blender and go into a piping bag fitted with a tip. Get ready for frying. All right, so our churro dough is uh, in our bag fitted with a star tip. Um, medium sized star tip is fine. Um, we're going to go over here, uh, we've got some canola oil heating up 350 degrees, uh, 
candy thermometer is great for this. Uh, you, you can find a uh, proper temperature. Um, get a nice crispy brown. We're going to drop in uh, a few, probably about oh, eight, eight inch long pieces. Um, we do uh, four pieces per order here at Kava. And they're going to fry till golden brown. Uh, this batch here makes probably about 36 to 40 churros, um, depending on your size. All right, so our churros have uh, gotten to a nice golden brown. Uh, we're going to take uh, our churros out uh, using a spider here, transferring over to uh, just a small pan, a uh, little paper towel, uh, absorb any of the excess oil um, might come off of them. What we're going to do uh, once these guys have kind of been patted off a little bit, we're going to go over to a... Uh, cinnamon sugar mix here and just lightly dredge all four pieces next step is going to be uh, a little chocolate uh, melted chocolate down on our plate again paint paintbrush just kind of wipe down the plate and kava we pair our churros um, with a ancho chili hot chocolate. At home, you could use anything from Hershey syrup to hot chocolate mix, like a hot chocolate, hot cocoa. Um, typically in Spain, that's uh, what you would find. Uh, your morning uh, would be hot chocolate and churros. And just arrange on the plate, like so. This is uh, Kristen's Famous Churros at Cava.